Hey everyone, Alex here with Off The Cuff Reviews. I am back again to bring you guys a special new video. This time we're going to be talking about the movie The New Mutants. <laughs> so let's get into it. <laughs> The New Mutants is a 2020 superhero horror movie film um, that is based on the X-Men series and it is the 13th installment in the X-Men film series. It was also written and directed by Josh Boone who directed The Fault in Our Stars. This film started production back in 2015. This, ha this film has had its run on trying to get released and it's been passed around and put off and delayed and then it was finally gonna come out and then the, <laughs> then the pandemic hit and then it was pushed off again and it finally came out on um, streaming services or something like that but wow this film has had a storied production basically that honestly it didn't need to have. It's not a film that is going to be probably even talked about that much in the next coming years. It's not like a groundbreaking movie that really needed to be delayed and released and it's not this huge big production. It's kind of bad and <laughs> it's, it's a movie that you're definitely going to probably just forget about. But here's the thing. I just don't understand why it took so long to... It was like passing hands and being delayed over and over and over again and even the performances by Maisie Williams and Anya Taylor Joy um really couldn't save this one uh from peril <laughs> it is not written very well it's it's just kind of bland it's kind of boring it's it could have been a lot better but I feel like they just missed the mark with the plot they really didn't hone in on the things that they could have honed in on and they really just let it go they, they it feels like they played it safe it feels like they cut a lot of the movie out it feels like the the they could have pushed boundaries a little bit more but they played it safe big time and you can tell just by watching this just by the first five minutes of this film you're gonna be like wow this is another cookie cutter horror superhero thing i don't even know what to call it it's pretty cookie cutter for Marvel movies as as Marvel movies go and it's it's supposed to be almost like a revival of the series and that didn't work. Uh, this was just the plot is fine like the, the plot's fine the performances are fine but it's just boring. Like, it makes sense it's cohesive but it's boring it, it doesn't it doesn't make you want to rewatch this film at all and you will understand what i mean if you try to watch this it's something that it should have been released like three years ago but you know i, I just i don't know I'm, I'm maybe i'm being too harsh on it but i'm not really a huge fan with all of that said about this film i'm going to end up giving it a c minus because i just really didn't enjoy it i thought the plot was super boring i thought they could have done a lot more with it uh, I feel like they ended up pushing back the production way too much. There's there's way too much drama surrounding this film for it to be as bland as it actually is. And they could have done a lot more with the premise. They could have done a lot more with the characters. They could have done a lot more with the actors and actresses. You know, Anya Taylor-Joy is a top actress in Hollywood right now. And they kind of just let her fade away in this movie. And that kind of sucks. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out more. Check out the Patreon link down below. Uh, subscribe. Hit the like button or drop a comment. Whatever you guys want. If you guys are into this, um, I'll see you next time. And I hope you stay safe. See you on the flip side. Peace out.